Hello everyone, I'm back, and it's time for the launch of Horus Heresy 2.0. You know the drill, one terrible financial decision later, and I pre-order the new box. So, since my old Dark Angels guide was kinda eh, <laughs> but since the only Horus Heresy models I have for now are HQs and Dreadnoughts, I will make this as simple as possible. Anyway, let's begin. The good thing about Horus Heresy Dark Angels is you only need a few colors to paint them. All you need is a black base coat, red, silver, bone colors, and an off-white. For the highlights, you can either do the traditional method or you can just get a big dry brush. Now I wasn't going to make this video, but after my frustration of trying to figure out GW's paint schemes on the website, I decided I would suffer so you don't have to. So let's begin. So today I'm going to use my Dark Angels Legion Praetor and Contemptor Dreadnought as an example. Because I feel like I need to start knocking out some of my backlog in preparation for the new Grey Horde to arrive soon. I swear it's not a problem. So first things first, wash the models before we prime it because when we built it our grubby hands have oils all over them. Which can affect the paint along with any sanding residue left over. So here are all the colors you will need because I spent hours trying to figure out why the colors didn't really match on the website. You need these colors for black, Abaddon Black, Skaven Blight Dinge, and Mechanicus Standard Grey until you realize you really needed to use Dawnstone after you started highlighting your Contemptor Dreadnought. So Abaddon is going to be your base coat and then if you want to go to the GW route and do two edge highlights use Skaven Blight Dinge as a chunky highlight and Dawnstone as the thinner more refined highlight. Or if you just want it to be fast like this guide was supposed to be, just get a big dry brush and use Dawnstone. Also going forward as a side note, the middle color will usually be this extra step when you could really just dry brush the color. But results may vary because we all paint our models how we want. So next is the shades of red which actually comes in two parts. For things like the Aquilas and shoulder pads, use Mephiston red followed by a thinned down wash of Carabao Crimson because if you don't it looks like you spilled a bit of cranberry juice all over the red. Then highlight it with Evil Sun Scarlet and Squig Orange. You can also just dry brush on Evil Sun Scarlet and that'll really do it. But the Squig Orange is really just to make the red pop. If it's a Mark VI Marine, which I don't have yet, just paint one shoulder pad red or even both. It's all up to you, just try and make some of the Marines unique. For the cloaks, use Corn Red followed by the highlight of Ozdaka Red and more Squig Orange. And if the cloak is white, because we all know GW's white paints are usually shit, Use Celestial Grey and hit it with some Apothecary White Contrast and then hit the raised areas again with Celestial Grey. Now if you want to do a green cloak, just make sure you don't have a lot of red on the model or you risk making a Dark Angel successor chapter that only appears in December. Also, since the Aquilas are usually bone colored for most Horus Heresy Dark Angels, use Rakarth Flesh with a light wash of Agrax Earthshade. Then highlight it as best you can with Pallid Witch Flesh. For the armor trim, you can either use Lead Belcher or in my case Iron Hand Steel. It's all up to you, it's gonna get washed anyways with Nuln Oil. It's just that I wanted a bit of a lighter silver for my Horus Heresy Dark Angels, but I also did use Lead Belcher for the non-armored bits, since color variation is nice and you can highlight it with Stormhost Silver or Iron Breaker. Again, it's all up to you. For the brass colors like I mentioned earlier, GW is all over the place and this isn't Retributive armor washed with Reichland Flesh Shade. This is. Notice how the color is not the f***ing same. Like how this isn't Mechanicus Standard Grey, it's either Corvus Black or Dark Reaper. Just like how these highlights are not Fenrisian Grey because Fenrisian Grey has a bluish hue. How do I know this? I play Dark Angels and have Ravenwing units, how do you think I know this? Anyways back on track, I used Brass Scorpion washed with Nolan Oil and highlighted with Sycorax Bronze. And my god these paints are so beautiful. Okay cool, that's a quick and easy way to paint Horus Heresy Dark Angels. Now it's time to make them look grim dark. Hold up. This part is coming soon because I still have to figure out how to do it myself. And I'm not sure if I want to risk a model I spent 12 hours painting. Especially since I've never used Streak and Grime before. But as Bob Ross once said, let's be brave. But I'm not going to use it on my expensive stuff. I'm probably going to use it on the basic troops from the Age of Darkness box. So no idea when that's going to happen. Anyways, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Let me know in the comments down below which army you're going to play for Horus Heresy and why it's Dark Angels. And that about wraps everything up. If you liked the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to help the channel. Once again, thanks for watching, and I hope you'll tune in next time. Now if you'll excuse me, I have a horse heresy armory to paint.